morning we have arrived at the Montal Montalto estate uh, just to be half a mile outside Balna Hinch. It's an estate of 200 acres and it uh, dates back, the domain dates back to the 1600s and we're in the car park and there's plenty of people here. Very, very popular destination. The uh, present estate owners, the Wilsons, have owned the property from 1995 and uh, whenever they, they took charge of it, they did a major, major uh, refurb and uh, brought in special architects and whatnot to restore all the uh, Georgian features. There's uh, miles of trails here and there's a multitude of gardens of different types. Gift shop, cafe and I don't know what else. We'll see. A bit like a na National Trust property. £7.50 an adult to get in, under five's free. And a concession of 50p. For and a concession of 50p for, for pensioners. Not good. And we're into the old stables area. And an old pump. This is the back of, or the front of the uh, gift shop. Ah, very pleasant. Well, I've just come through the ticket area and there's an awful lot of mature trees here. And it's just wide open spaces wherever you look. So there's the woodland trail, the low wood uh, trail, the history trail, the garden walk, the lake walk. And here's the map. Woodland Trail, History Trail, Garden Trail, Lake Walk Trail. And this is this place is extensive. Yes, plenty of pine cones, some very mature trees here and I reckon that, that there is a squirrel feeder. Ta-ta! And I believe, I believe there are, <laughs> that's the grandchild, I believe there are quite a number of uh, red squirrels in here. Not that we're likely to see one, unfortunately. And under a previous uh, owner, 50,000 new trees were planted here, birch and, and uh, such like, such a, a diversity of trees. And I see more planting going on over here. All sorts of hidden surprises here amongst the trees, birch, beech and, and Douglas firs featuring prominently along with the, the sycamore. Oh, there's plenty of fungi too. 
These are oak, for the most part, being planted. And everywhere you turn, evidence of new planting going on. I've just come across the uh, fabulous children's playground here. Could almost be an adult playground as well. And this place is full of surprises. Again, this is a massive play area. Uh, obviously designed for different ages of youngsters. And they've got a wee coffee booth while you sit and watch your child. Excellent. No question about it, this is a very well managed estate. And there's plenty for youngsters to do. Seem to have thought of everything. Now this is a bug hotel. And I'm afraid the weather has turned against us, but you can get the, the general idea. This place is coming down with propagation. It's like a nursery. And as you can see, the uh, weather has turned against us. There's a, a courtyard here beside the cafe. Excellent cafe, massive. Oh, it's just disappointing once again. And we've got a few sheep that have got out. We've we'll just come onto the uh, the lake walk. Funny it's called that, mind you. We've just come onto the lake walk. And there's the big house. And there's a wee boat house to shelter from the rain. The inevitable rain that you get in Northern Ireland. Such a variety of trees here. This is a wildlife haven. And we'll come back here. There's a few rises. They must have fish in here. Good fish. Um, and this is the house. And as I say, the uh, estate has been going, the, the, uh, the Debian has been going from the 1600s. And at one time, it was the, the second biggest uh, owned land area in the whole of County Down. It was massive. And... Uh, The original uh, owner was a Patrick McCartan and he was executed um, in uh, just after the 1641 rebellion. And it was purchased by Sir George Rowden in 1659, the estate. And in 1765, his descendant Sir, Rid Sir John Rowden, 1st Earl of Moira, built a today's mansion. And at that time, uh, it was only two storey. Just such a variety of uh, plant life here. You know, it's just... That's amazing. 
be shelter for you out in the rain. Wonderful. Oh, there's a there's a there's a cat up on the roof. So maybe it's a, a witch's house. I don't know. Although we have a cat and we're not witches. Brilliant job. I wonder can you and this looks as if it's the uh, the, the result of storm Elaine which has just passed us in this last few few days. Some colossal trees here. And you could spend at least a full day. And film from film from this angle, the house is an awful lot bigger than what I thought. Yeah. And I had a fire here in the west wing some time ago, but the, the frontage and the east wing weren't damaged at all. So we're heading up towards the, the, the house here, this is the, the main driveway and all of these uh, surfaces were at one time concreted and who did the concreting? Well, the American forces did it whenever they were billeted here in the Second World War they concreted all these driveways and uh, they, these ones here have been tarmacked and uh, even in the First World War, the, uh, the big house was used as a, a rehabilitation hospital for the uh, troops uh, badly injured in World War I. A nice example of a white, a white buddleia. You don't see white buddleia about so much anymore. And it's trying to run again. Maybe half does it have like? Here we are, are approaching the, the big house. I'm just totally amazed by these, some of the, the sizes of some of these trees. Imagine them waking them up every morning to that view. Um, it's the Wilsons. They they got the house in 1995 and have refurbished it. This is a this is box hedge just a, behind me here, or in front of me. And as I say, it's used as a, a, a premier a wedding venue and corporate events. Fabulous. And it's good to see a place like this that has survived. So many of our big houses were lost. One of the main reasons was uh, the, the owner 
couldn't couldn't uh, afford the upkeep and pay the rates. So what inevitably happened was that to lower the, the rateage value, they, they, they took off the roofs. And of course, whenever they did that, within, within a year the house was busted. No use. Right. I mean, that's what I call wanton vandalism. This is just superb. I've seen plenty of wasps out today, funny enough, even in the rain. Seen a few butterflies, remarkably enough too. Fabulous place. And I've even got a summer house. Or maybe it's a reading room or get away from the wife room. <laughs> get their head shard room. Yet some of these these older trees must be maybe three hundred years old plus. And we've just branched off again and we're on the garden walk. And I'm really impressed with this place. Totally impressed. <laughs> and in the end we never made it to the garden walk, the rain's coming down and with my sore hip uh, it was just too much. But we'll be back again.